Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I know you guys have been waiting very impatiently for my coffee bar reveal. If you're new here, this is sort of one of those areas that I have been decorating and redecorating over and over and over again for every holiday and season, and it just got a really big facelift. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll insert some pictures of a previous coffee bars, and what you'll notice is it used to have a chalkboard background, so I really loved using that space to sort of add extra detail and cuteness into, and just use my creative side to draw on the wall in spaces that weren't necessarily covered with decor pieces. So I really did enjoy drawing and creating on that chalkboard, but it was a little bit dark for the space and I really wanted to brighten everything up. So recently we just decided to go ahead and shiplap the background of the coffee bar. And if you missed that video, I will link that down below. We were actually able to shiplap this wall for under $20. So make sure to go check out that video after you're done watching this one because today I'm giving you an updated tour of the completed coffee bar all decorated for Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So as you can see, not only is the space much more bright, which is what I really truly wanted, but I also did some reconfiguring of the shelves just to give it a little bit more of an updated look. But I still have the same concept with the shelves over the console piece underneath. I also found a new rug, which I really, really love. I'll put it in my Amazon favorite store. It was only $15, if you can believe that. And it's a gorgeous cream and gray color. I didn't want anything too light since we are pouring coffee over in this area. So I needed to make sure that if something did spill on it, you wouldn't necessarily see it. So this definitely is a pretty, pretty piece to kind of ground this whole space. I get lots of questions about this console table. It is from Ikea. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but the baskets are from there as well. I'm really considering maybe whitewashing the baskets, but let me know down in the comments below if you think this is a good idea or if you like them the way they are. On the top of this console table, I have a runner that I found at Home Goods. I also purchased a brand new coffee maker that is white by Cuisinart. I'll also put this in my Amazon favorite store if you're interested in that. I really, really love it. Uh, the other one was just sort of basic, and this one's a little bit more fancy, and for our coffee, actually really appreciate that. Next to the coffee maker, I have a Target Dollar Spot vase that I've sat my Valentine's Day garland that I DIY'd. I'll put that video up in the iCard so you can check that out. It's just that extra little pop of color and a touch of Valentine's Day the space needed. On the other side of the console, I have some pieces to help balance the space. I absolutely love real flowers, especially this time of year. It just adds that romantic, beautiful touch, and I love the look of real flowers. These have sort of a variated dark pink color, and I love that it kind of has a vintage-y look, too. I have these flowers added to my Ray Dunn flower vase that I just found, and I love. It's that beautiful farmhouse-style look. And next to it, I have a vintage Valentine. This actually is my pawpaws. My grandma found these in a bag and let me choose a few of them. And this one is a pop-up style. I think it's so, so cute. It has the year 1937 written on the back. To Glenn, who is my pawpaw from Miss Dykus, it says my teacher. And again, 1937, just a family heirloom piece. I have some more of his Valentines that I've added to a garland in the entryway, and I'll show you that a little bit later in this video. This old wooden pedestal bowl I thrifted, and I have my sugar and cream Ray Dunn pieces sitting on that. It's just a must for a coffee bar. And then above that, I have my shelves, which I said are reconfigured a little bit. The bottom shelf is the same, but I did cut down the top shelf instead of having two long shelves. Now I have two smaller shelves above that. And then in the middle, I have a metal tile piece that is just beautiful. I can't wait to decorate that for the different seasons. 
Let me show you this lower long shelf first. This perpetual calendar is a Target dollar spot find. I have some more roses. In my Ray Dunn picture, I just have that turned around to the side because I like the handle to stick out the other way so you can see it. And then next to that, I have another Ray Dunn mug and a box with topiary. I will have the topiaries in my Amazon store as well. The coffee bar sign is a DIY. I will link that up in the by cards for you. It says coffee bar where a latte love is brewed. I also have this available in my Etsy shop. Just the design. I don't have the stencil or the decal because it's so large. But if you'd like to make your own wood sign, I will have this SVG file available in my Etsy shop, which is crossinmyheart.com. And then on the other end of this long shelf, I have two Ray Dunn canisters that I've turned around backwards and my favorite Create Coffee Mug with another boxwood topiary. Now moving up to the top shelves, like I said, I found this metal tile piece at Hobby Lobby. It was 70% off and I'm so excited that I get to change out the different wreaths on the front of it. This heart boxwood wreath is from Amazon and I will link that down in my Amazon favorite store so you can check that out. And then on the little shelves next to it, I have all of my Valentine's Day coffee mugs. And I'm sure you're gonna ask about these little pedestals that my heart mugs are sitting on. Those are from the Target dollar spot. I wanna say they were only a dollar each and I really wish I would've bought many, many more because they are so, so cute. I don't know if they have them again, but hopefully soon they will have some more so I can grab them. I absolutely love them. And here's just kind of an overall look of the coffee bar and the new look and it updated with little touches of Valentine's Day pieces. And then all of the pieces just really come together to make a beautiful space within our kitchen. I always like to add in a little tour of our entryway because I get lots of questions about it as well. The sign at the top is from Hobby Lobby uh, last year. I have mixed tiles, which are the photos that are repositionable on the wall. The hooks are from Hobby Lobby and I made that little hook board. And then I get lots of questions about this bench. It is a true trash to treasure that I found on the side of the road and brought back to life. And then I have uh, this garland that I made. So it's just craft paper hearts. And then I have the rest of the Valentines that were my pawpaws from the 1930s that I just clipped on with some mini clothespins that I had from the Dollar Tree. I'm really hoping I can find a cute Valentine's Day pillow that I can add to the bench. So I still have my eye open for that. The pillows that you see here are from Kirkland's and the rug is from Ikea. So that's pretty much a look at my Valentine's Day decor for the kitchen. And then also a new look at the updated coffee bar that went from a chalkboard wall to now shiplap. Thank you all so very much for joining me for this updated coffee bar tour. I hope that it inspired you. Please take a second and give this video a thumbs up for me. And let me know down in the comments below, do you have shiplap in your home? I would love to know where. This is actually the very first place inside our home that I have installed shiplap. However, outside in our she shed, we have put quite a bit. If you want to take a look at the playlist, I'll link that down below so you can get more inspiration for that. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button next to me and below that I'll put a playlist full of my previous coffee bars if you'd like to take a look. And make sure to come find me on Facebook and on Instagram for more inspiration. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.